Hey everyone, it's Nick with Peak. Uh, today we're here in Cleghorn, California, uh, one of the most popular trails in Southern California. Today we want to demonstrate the capabilities and features of the 2021 Ford Bronco. Uh, we happen to have the uh, two-door first edition, so this one comes with pretty much every option, every off-road feature, nanny, assist, whatever you want to call them. So we want to kind of dive into what features these have, when you would use them, why you would use them, and to show that you don't need to use them. These things are plenty capable from the factory, and I mean, in my opinion, probably one of the most capable off-road vehicles anyone's ever made, um, let alone, you know, Ford, for example. Um, we're gonna dive into the inside, show you all the features, and then demonstrate them on the trail and kind of see how they work, and then uh, go from there. Dream big, boy gonna make it. Stand tall, there's a higher road to take it. So one of the things we want to talk about today is the GOAT modes. So the Bronco comes with seven to eight, depending on what model or trim you have. This particular one has all the modes. So only use what applies to your specific vehicle because the rest of this won't apply. Uh, Ford added the GOAT dial. So you basically spin the dial and you can select which mode you want to be in. Now all these modes have a specific function and they all have specific presets that automatically come on. With those presets, you can turn them off, turn on things you wish, um, make any kind of adjustments you want to. They're not locked in per se, but there are certain parameters like rock crawl mode that makes you be in four low, uh, Baja mode keeps you in four high, and it's designed for high speed desert, obviously. The next thing, uh, GOAT, a fun fact with that is, there was actually the original name of the Bronco back in 1963 or whatever it was when they were designing this thing, it was codenamed the GOAT. And so today's terms, GOAT stands for goes over any terrain uh, I prefer it goes over all things, but you know, we can't always be right. So we're gonna move this over. We'll put the dial into the mud and rut mode. So you kind of see the changes here. So on the screen, you'll see, it's gonna tell you the four by shift is in progress. If you were going to four low, you would have to obviously put it in neutral, but in this case, we're keeping our uh, four high selected. So what this will do is it changes the screen to show you your pitch and roll. Uh, the other thing it'll show you is the basically the, the drivetrain of the truck. And so you can see the locked or unlocked differentials and the locked or unlocked sway bar. So in this case, mud and rut mode will put you in a locked rear end at four high. Now let's move over to Baja mode. Actually, let's go to rock crawl mode. So rock crawl mode, you'll have to shift into neutral. It's gonna take you, take all the assists off, put you in four low. So while that does its thing, it's going to tell you the sway bar disconnect reconnects at 20 miles an hour because it'll automatically turn itself off. And so now it'll show you here in four low, you have the rear locker diff or the rear differential locked and you have the sway bars disconnected. If you were to reconnect the sway bars, you'll see that screen change. And now that the sway bars are connected, they're no longer on the screen. Same with the diffs. So front rear diff, you can lock the front. Now the front's locked and then unlocked and same with the rear. So these are really basically what Ford designed these, these features for is you just basically turn the dial and point and shoot and it's going to do what you want it to do. Now the fine tuning comes to the operator and what you want to do, having more or less control of the vehicle, um, you can select those as you, as you wish. Then you can go into other modes, like in Baja mode, for example. This one's designed for high speed desert. So what it'll end up doing is it turns the front camera on. It also holds the gears longer, changes shift points and patterns, have an open diff so you can keep everything spinning. Um, but again, you can change and add as you wish. Like we can lock the rear end if you want to, and you can do steady drifts or whatever in the sand. Um, this one's actually a lot of fun because it holds the gears higher. It keeps you in the power band a lot longer, um, and it won't just automatically shift you out if you get towards a certain RPM rate. Uh, most people like to stay around the mud and rut mode when they're off-road. This is good for just general trails, 4x4 stuff. This will put you in four high with a locked rear end. And again, you can make the changes as you wish. But as you see, our truck has every available mode. We actually had to unlock the sport mode with the four scan tool. And everything comes installed in all these trucks is what Ford allows you to have or not have. What this does is basically Baja mode. It keeps the gears higher, shift patterns different, puts you in four auto, which you can also put in two wheel drive if you want to. It just makes a more spirited drive and kind of take advantage of that 2.7 twin turbo motor. Okay, now that we're inside the Jeep, I mean Bronco. <laughs> the other thing that's cool and worth mentioning is up here is what Ford calls the hero switches. So each one of these has a different function. Now you'll see the entire row is filled here because of the trim model that we have. Some can have three, some can have four, some can have five. Um, the standard ones that all of them have are the 
uh, traction control system and the hazard lights, they're up here, easy to reach, easy to hit. Now the other thing that most, or if not, uh, I think just the Badlands and the first edition come stock with, everything else is an option if you go with the Sasquatch package. This is your sway bar disconnect button. This is your front locker, your rear locker, and your trail turn assist. Now these are all very important off-road features. They wanted everything to be seen visible. Uh, one of the neat features is as you press it, it automatically turns the light on here. So you, just at a quick glance, you can kind of see it in your periphery. Um, same with any other of the features here. Each one we're gonna demonstrate today, why they're important, uh, when you would use them, and how it works on the Bronco, and kind of give you guys an idea of what this thing is capable of, and we'll go from there. Okay, so right now we're gonna demonstrate the rock crawl mode and the sway bar disconnect feature. So the intent's gonna to be to try to three wheel it to get it to where it's gonna be flexing and having a wheel come off the ground. We'll engage the sway bar disconnect. Once that happens, it's gonna drop the vehicle back down to put more wheels on the ground and continue forward. So I haven't done this spot yet, so we'll see if we can get to a point where we can get it off the ground. And once we do, we'll show you how this works. So right now we're in rock crawl mode. We are in four low. Rear locker's on. Now we're gonna keep going up. So we're gonna engage this, and the whole vehicle drops back down. Now with this disconnected, it adds more articulation for you to flex up higher and keep going on stuff. So now we're gonna demonstrate trail control. This is actually a pretty cool feature um, that comes on, I think, the top trim Broncos. So essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna press this button here in the center of the GOAT mode, this will activate trail control, which is a one pedal drive system. So you hit OK. Now the next thing is you'll see on, on the screen it says set. So you set your speed with the plus and minus on the, on the cruise control. So if I want to go one mile an hour, I set it to one, 1 1.5, two. In mud and rut mode, it does it by one increments. In rock crawl mode, it does it by half increments. So at least you can be a little more accurate. Once you do that, you just let go of the pedal or let go of the gas and it's going to go by itself, one mile an hour. Now, when you're doing this stuff, you basically just point and shoot. So, no matter what you're doing, it's gonna keep crawling. It's gonna keep going up, it's gonna keep going up. And you can even go even slower if you wanna go one mile an hour, 1.5, and it's gonna keep going all on its own. Currently, we have our sway bar disconnected. We're in rear locker only. If you wanna put the front locker on, that crawling a little bit more easy. Now we're just gonna walk right up. And this whole time, the truck's just doing its own thing. My foot is loosely off the pedals. And it just continues to climb. So now we want to feature the trail control. As I mentioned before, it works both uphill and downhill. So we're going to set it to one mile an hour and just let the truck do its own thing. So no foot on the brake, no foot on the gas. Just going by itself at one mile an hour down this look 25 degree grade here. <laughs> 